Good afternoon, everyone. We do have some breaking sports news this afternoon, and it's big. As rumored, the Jazz traded their seven-foot defensive prize in the middle, Rudy Gobert, a move that could dramatically alter the franchise going forward. Fox 13 Sports' Morgan Vance joining us live now to break down what this means for the team. Also, a lot of very upset fans today. Morgan. Yeah, some would be, Kel. Jazz fans had little idea what they were getting back in the summer of 2013 when they dealt for the Frenchman on draft night nine years ago. And though Gobert wasn't an immediate contributor, it quickly became clear what they had. A three-time defensive player of the year and a guy who could single-handedly alter a game from a defensive standpoint inside the paint. Then again, that deep playoff run never did materialize, hinting that somebody finally had to go. Donovan Mitchell was an option, but turns out it was Gobert, dealt to the Timberwolves for a handful of role players and a plethora of valuable draft picks through the year 2029. To say that Utah will miss his production in the middle understates it. Just last season alone, the Stifle Tower averaged 16 points and 15 boards a game. He was also third in the NBA in blocks and second in field goal percentage. For Minnesota, he'll now formulate a front court duo with fellow all-star Carl Anthony Towns, all while the Jazz decide what's next. Over the last 24 hours alone, they have now lost the likes of Rudy, Royce O'Neal, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Daniel House, Eric Pascal, and Trent Forrest. So who do you replace them with? Here you go, five players coming over from the Timberwolves, including the 10-year vet Patrick Beverly. Fellow guard Malik Beasley tallied 12 points a game last season. Little used players Jared Vanderbilt and Leandro Balmaro all in that group as well to go along with recent first round pick Walker Kessler, a seven foot one center out of Auburn. But here's the beautiful part. Three unprotected first round picks beginning next summer, then following in 2025 and again in 2027. There's a pick swap in 2026 and a protected first rounder down the road in 2029 as well. Are you confused yet? I am. That was a mouthful. <laughs> so basically the point is, is they're thinking Years down the road, they're preparing for the future, starting over. You're not starting completely over. You still have Donovan Mitchell, unless, of course, they deal him as well. Which... You know, I looked on Donovan Mitchell's Twitter account a short time ago. He's usually very active, right. gets on, you know, Crickets. says what he wants. Nothing from Donovan. And I know during the season, perhaps just speculation that there was maybe, you know, a little bit of tension between the two yeah. players. Those two have never gotten along really well, but uh, of course he's got to be, you know, sad. I mean, they were in the trenches for years. Together. Well, they both had the same goal, right? To win. Fortunately, they never got out of the second uh, round. That's a long list of what the Jazz are getting. That's why we're here today. Yeah. yeah. Any superstars, potential superstars in the list of what's coming our well, way? I would love to see Kevin Durant, but I don't think that's yeah, That's one trade. <laughs>